has been said that oceans and continents cannot break the bond that tie a family. The 1960 UJA study mission has traveled far and still has not completely left home. On that high hill overlooking Jerusalem, the mission honors the grave of Israel's modern prophet, Theodore Herzl. William Wagman recalls the moment for us. Today, all my uh, hopes, all those years, I was hoping someday to come to Israel. And uh, today, I went to, to, the, uh, to the grave of Dr. Hart. And they gave me, the group gave me the honor to lay uh, a wreath on the Dr. Hartles. It was the biggest surprise of my life. A visit to Israel holds many surprises. For Harry Shurkin, it was an unexpected meeting with a relative he had all but forgotten. But there are visits, too, that are deeply depressing. The crowded encampments full of people with a hungry hope. The Ma'abara, the transit camp for immigrants, is still the only home for more than 80,000 Jews, a number that equals the entire Jewish community of Toronto. This is home for many newcomers to the land of promise. Surely to God, as Jews and as people, we should do away with this this mess that I've seen here this afternoon. Even in their miserable, primitive surroundings, the people of the Mahabara may look with hope to the future. A great deal is being accomplished, and this, they know, will belong to them.